Hey all, today we are going to discuss about Van der Wood syndrome, which is also known as cleft lip syndrome, lip pit syndrome, dimple papillae of the lip. It is basically an autosomal dominant syndrome in which cleft lip or palate is there and lip pits are present. Right? These are the pits which are present on the vermilion surface of the lip. Suppose this is your lip. So the vermilion surface, this is the vermilion border. This is the cupid's bow. Lip commissure, right? So these are the pits which are present on the vermilion border of the lip. They are more uh, they are basically present on lower lip, right? Lip pits. Etiology is, as it is an autosomal dominant syndrome, basically the genetic factors are there which causes Van der Wood syndrome. The first one is the deletions in chromosome band, that is 1Q32. So, uh, deletion in this uh, chromosome band can cause Van der Wood syndrome or Chromosome band 17P11 is also there. If there is any deletion in this chromosome band, then Van der Wood syndrome will, all, will be there, right? Now the clinical features of Van der Wood syndrome. It occurs in 1 in 1 lakh or 2 lakh people, right? 1 to 2% with cleft lip or palate have Van der Wood syndrome, right? It affects both genders equally, that is males and females are equally affected. Severity varies in uh, Van der Wood syndrome. Either the patient will have cleft, cleft lip or cleft palate plus, right, plus lower lip pits, right. All will be seen in a patient depending upon the severity. Either the cleft lip or palate may be isolated, right. So uh, this uh, thing depends upon the severity of the disease, how the genes are working, right? Now the hypernasal voice is there and cleft or bifid uvula can be seen. So these features may confirm that uh, the patient is suffering from Wood syndrome, right? Lip pits are present medially on the vermilion portion of the lower lip, right? Lip pits are associated with accessory salivary glands which may cause embarrassing drain uh, discharge of saliva from the from these lip pits. Lip pits are present as these are swollen in children but at adult age but in adults it is it occurs as lip pits, pits on the vermilion portion of the lower lip basically. Now maxillary hypodontia can be seen. Missing maxillary incisors or premolars will be there. Synglathia will be there. High arched palate can be there. And ankyloglossia will be there. Like these features are rarely seen in Van der Wood syndrome. Right now, the extra oral findings are limb anomalies can be seen, popliteal webs can be seen, brain abnormalities, accessory nipples, and congenital heart defects are seen. So the treatment includes orofacial and and physical examinations should be done. Firstly, after that, surgical repair of cleft lip and palate should be done. Surgical excision of the lip pits is necessary. Right. Thank you.